Hello and welcome to the channel. Um, I just watched The Hobbit, um, An Unexpected Journey, the extended cut. Um, yeah, it was actually pretty good. Um, there are some things that I don't quite remember seeing um, when I read the book. Um, I read it a long time ago. But uh, yeah, it was actually... Uh, this movie was pretty good. I have heard some like complaints of uh, like how long and drawn out they made The Hobbit being a trilogy and whatnot, but uh, I'll maybe get into that when I watch more of it. This is the first time I've actually seen this movie. Um, and this, it's on DVD that I got. So it's on two discs. And then there are three discs that are appendixes, appendices. Um, I haven't watched those at all yet. Um, I also have the Lord of the Rings extended editions on Blu-ray and DVD. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I enjoyed how they put a bit of the history of the Lonely Mountain at the beginning of the movie. Um, it was stuff that I had never even really known about before. Um, I'm sure they got it from J.R.R. Tolkien's notes that he uh, made um, when he was creating Middle Earth and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, I'd, I'd give this movie a solid 9.5 out of 10. Um, fair bit of action. Um, there were a couple of slow parts, but they were meant to be slow. Um, it was, uh, it was good because having too fast paced, um, of a movie isn't necessarily good like, uh, Rise of Skywalker, for example. Um, so having some slow bits was nice. Um, it's nice that they got back all of the actors from Lord of the Rings to play their parts, uh, reprise their roles again. Um, like Saruman, Gandalf, um... Galadriel, um, and uh, it was interesting how they also put in some parts of like um, Bilbo's birthday party that he was hosting and stuff like that with Frodo. Um, yeah, it was. I, I was a little bit confused at the beginning because I wasn't sure what quite was going on because it didn't begin where the book begins, but later on it did. So. It, it it is worth watching um those scenes and whatnot not skipping ahead um yeah i didn't <coughs> oh excuse me i'm a little sick um but uh yeah i uh i didn't realize that it was really a, a dwarven um homeland at the Lonely Mountain that they were trying to reclaim. I didn't quite get that from the book when I was reading it. Um, I thought they were just after the treasure in the Lonely Mountain and the smog had just, that's where smog was and stuff. But uh, it does add a lot more context with how they did the movie um, as to why they're, they're pursuing going to uh, the Lonely Mountain and trying to get the treasure back and all this other stuff. I thought it was just that there there was a dragon with a whole heap of treasure that they were after. Kind of like a heist and stuff like that, but it was it was more than that. Um, yeah. Um, I think that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and have a good one.